Hi everybody, I am G1 Writer here with G1 Insights. So I wanted to go live with this video, but apparently um, my browser wasn't trying to hear it or something is going wrong because I have been trying and trying and trying. Oh, gotta have my instance. Alright, so I'm going to try my best to make this as quick as possible because I have to get going. Okay, so happy Friday, first of all. It's Friday here in the States, in America. Okay, so happy Friday. And today is the day that Venus goes retrograde, okay? So what does all that mean? Venus going retrograde to me is like about health, money, your finances, beauty, relationships, partnerships, business relationships. Friendships even, love overall. Venus to me is normally one of the most sexiest planets ever existed. I just love Venus. Love Venus, okay? Here is the issue. Venus is going retrograde in Scorpio. So for some of us, it may not be an issue at all, okay? Now for some of us, we may be thinking a lot about love and about finances. For a lot of us, we may even be thinking about our health, okay? Because Venus, to me, represents everything beautiful, big, bold, wild, you know? Everything beautiful that makes us happy, that makes us full of joy is Venus. Venus, okay, even the Venus, the goddess of love, is beautiful. I mean, it's, it's just beautiful all around the board, right? So... When raising our vibration during a time like this, it calls for some challenges because there will be people that will try to make us feel guilty, you know, um, people that will be trying to influence us to do things that we shouldn't do. We may feel compelled to want to commit, um, to want to sign contracts. We may feel impulsive, ready to leave a relationship. Some of us may even want to start up a new relationship. I mean, because after all, there's Venus in the air, right? So definitely love for a lot of us is definitely going to be in the brain, okay? But then you also have um, Uranus still hanging out in Taurus. So for you Earth signs, this is actually going to be like amazing. Okay, this is going to be beautiful. Now, you, Taurus, on the other hand, Venus is your ruling planet and also Libra ruling planets. Okay, now by the end of the month in October, Venus is going to leave Scorpio, go into your um, other sign, Libra. Um, and I think by then we'll all be feeling a lot better. Okay, but overall, getting to that point is the journey. Okay. We are being taught a huge lesson, and part of me believes that that lesson is patience with ourselves, with others, um, with our time and how we invest. What do we invest our money into? How do we invest our time? Are we willing to do the work that is required to get what we need? Okay, now aside from Venus going retrograde, we also have this new moon in um, Libra coming up, okay, on the 9th or 10th, give or take a day, okay, that day is going to be so beautiful, okay, just this whole next week or so is going to be amazing, okay, and I just cannot <laughs> pass up the opportunity to teach you guys how I actually am raising my vibration. For me, Health is a big concern. I want to get better with my health. For some of you, it may be finances that may be a concern. For some of you, it may just be your overall stability, whether it's love, money, having a new home, a new car. You may feel um, a bit like um, maybe half empty or half, I don't know, half full maybe. Inadequate will be the right term, right? So I have actually written down some things that... Um, matter to me and hopefully you guys can be inspired by all of this because that is my goal to hope that you guys can be inspired by this that you get some type of message from this I went live with this information on Facebook so for those of you that follow me on Facebook G1 Insights um or my personal page rather <laughs> you guys can follow me there too I don't matter I'm an open book it don't matter to me okay so let's do this 
So Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius. This is for you, okay? Raise in my vibration. Always. This whole season. Well, just pretty much every day. But this season especially. Raising my vibration. When I am in good health, I feel amazing. I feel secure. I feel loved. I enjoy being admired, okay, because of my beauty. There is strength in my complexion, okay? My beauty makes me different. I am whole. I am unique. I attract beautiful people in my world because I am beautiful. My health, friends, Loved ones and family and even my wealth means everything to me. My body is filled with all the right things and all the right things that makes me complete. Okay? That is how I am raising my vibration. I'm raising my vibration that by believing that I have good health, I am full of good health, okay? Physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, I am good. Like, I want to raise my vibration for that. When it comes to my family and my partnerships, I want to raise my vibration for that. And so that is what I'm doing this season, okay? My intention is to focus on all that makes me feel good this season. Because as I said before, Venus is a beautiful planet, okay? And going into a sign like Scorpio is going retrograde in Scorpio. It's going to make us feel like we have to look backwards, you know, reflect on a lot. Past lovers may pop up. You may feel like you need closure. You may feel like you want to do your hair differently. You may feel like you just want to dress up differently. You may feel impulsive, ready to shop till you drop, ready to go and buy something new. And with that new moon being a Libra, oh, this is flashy, this is sassy, and everything else in between. This is a lot of beautiful, sexy energy that we're dealing with. But if you are thinking about signing any type of contract, I would definitely wait until after the Libra new moon, okay? Because by the third week of October, we will be feeling so much better. Oh my God, we will be feeling so much better. Because then by the end of October, we will be getting ready for that full moon in Taurus. And so uh, this whole month is just going to be interesting when it comes to partnerships and business relationships. So if you have someone in mind that you would actually like to partner up with, that you would like to make money with, or if this person may be viewing you that way, this is a perfect season to just be open-minded, you know, take it in consideration, but don't be impulsive. I would not recommend you sign anything until after the new moon. Take your time, review everything, you know, um, just make sure, even if you feel like, well, they're family, they wouldn't hurt me, they're friends, they know what they're doing, still read your dotted lines, okay? You just never really know what could go wrong, okay? So please pay attention to signing anything. You may feel like, you know what, I'm going to go buy this big old table, this big old car, you know, you may just feel really flashy and really well in control. If you have this thing, uh, some of you may even have the thing with technology acting crazy, you know, um, and I feel like that's more so for my air signs and my water signs, okay, but this overall Venus energy can be beautiful if you utilize it in the right way to make your intention known, to follow through, with that intention to be honest with yourself about what it is that you really desire, what you really are craving for, be honest with yourself. Like I said, dear love, I actually wrote this myself because I needed something that fit me for me, 
you know? And so you don't, ha- it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be from your heart. When you are manifesting anything and you want to put that energy out into the universe, dear love, make sure that you are speaking things as they are, okay? Speak things into existence as they are already happening, okay? So as you notice, I spoke things into existence. I feel loved, okay? I am I am whole, I am unique, I am different, my health means everything to me, like I spoke those things into existence, so when you guys write your intention, make sure that it is raising your vibration, that you feel good when you're writing these things, okay, if you are feeling insecure and not sure exactly what to write, just follow your heart, the words will come to you, okay, And as the words come to you, just visualize yourself feeling good about the situation. If your vision is about money, visualize how great you feel about having that money, okay? If it's about love, just picture what it feels like to finally be back in love. Just really take your time to raise your vibration, okay? I love you all. Have a great week. A great month, wherever you are in this universe, stay tuned because I am posting everyone's love and life videos. Yes, all 12 zodiac signs. Stay tuned. I love you guys. Bye.